Welcome. I'm glad you joined us today. This Sunday is Pentecost, a really important day in the church. In fact, many folks call it the birthday of the church. Last week was Ascension Sunday, the day we remember Jesus leaving his disciples. He promised them that they would receive power when the Holy Spirit came to them and that they would be witnesses for Jesus in Jerusalem and to the ends of the earth. Here is the story of what happened from Acts chapter 2. When the day of Pentecost had come, the disciples were all gathered in one place. And suddenly, from heaven, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them the ability. Now, there were many devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound, the crowd gathered and was bewildered because each of them heard the disciples speaking in the native language of each, amazed. And astonished, they asked, are not all these who are speaking from Galilee? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, Asia, Phrygia, Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own language, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Well, if this is the birthday of the church, it is a day to celebrate. A festival day. In fact, the first hymn for Sunday is named Hail the festival day. It has a refrain, that part of the hymn that comes back every time. Here's what it sounds like. Hail the festival day, blessed day to be hallowed forever. Day Kingdom of death. Happy festival day, blessed day to be hallowed forever. Day when the Lord was raised, breaking the kingdom of death. With Dr. Ben's help, let's look at some of the words. Some of them may be new for you. Festival means a celebration for a special day, like a birthday. Hallowed, another way of saying holy or sacred. Breaking the kingdom of death, a poetic, or imaginative way of saying, breaking the power of fear. 
Let's sing it together. another song about the Spirit of God to share with you. It is a favorite of many people about how the Spirit of God works within us. It's called Spirit of the Living God. The motions are quite simple. I think you'll catch them as I sing. Spirit of the Living God, Fall afresh on me, Spirit of the Living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mold me, feel me, use me, Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Now, you stand up and sing with me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh on me. Melt me, mold me, fill me, use me. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on me. I'm so glad you joined me today. Let's end our time together with our closing song by Natalie Salif. Go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere. Everywhere you may go, go now in peace, go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. Blessings.